For the sake of this course, instead of starting brand new from scratch, I can actually just navigate when I'm logged into my media company site over to my sites and then just simply hit create a new site and then we can create a site together. So when you log in, you'll have the option to create a site. It'll say create your first site or what kind of website do you want to create? Chances are this page is going to pop up and ask yourself, remember I had you plan at the beginning? You can create a blog, you know, a, a general business, an online store to do e-commerce, photography, music, a designer, restaurant and food, accommodation, events, blog. So I know there's a lot of bloggers out there. There's a lot of business owners out there. Obviously, restaurants, people offering accommodation, they're all, you know, pretty, pretty important. So let's go ahead and let's check out the portfolio and CV because lots of people want to, you know, market themselves as individuals. I'm going to create one uh, and let's just move over and see what that's like. So you can let the Wix ADI create a website for you, answer a few simple questions and it creates one for you. I don't like this personally, just to be honest with you, I don't really like that. I find that the tool is kind of new. Actually, I think it's more than a year old last time I saw this, but still that's pretty new. It's it's not 100% accurate, spot on. It can't read your mind. It's just pretty general. Starting from a, you know, scratch with a template is I find going to be a lot easier. And some of you may be wondering, "Hey, not I want to build a website completely from blank." Okay, yeah, you can do that. You can create a website without starting with a template, but I recommend you start with one. If you don't like it, completely erase everything but start with a template i like to have you know everything laid out for me it's it's not like drawing a picture where you can't you know uh, wix itself the creativity that you can apply is strips and paragraphs and words and your own pictures and your own designs but even templates are going to you know have the exact same design in the end as a blank template because you're dragging the same elements on so again we're going to choose a template so look at this there's a whole bunch of different sites that we can do um, I'm going to go for big and bold. Let's say when I first started, you know, trying to choose something, when I was doing my planning stage, I was thinking, hey, when I teach this course, I'm going to go for a big and bold site. I didn't know it was going to be portfolio. Let's look at portfolio. So, for example, what I would do is I would look for something very colorful and unique. I think this looks like a lot of blue. You know, I, I might just be a little bit fussy. I mean, it's a blue theme. But the theme doesn't look colorful. If the colors don't pop, to me, that's telling me it's using uh, just kind of a, a, a mediocre color palette. And that sounds silly because I can change it to any color I want. But I like to start with a template that pops. See, this image pops. So I like words that pop. To me, this pops. Like, that pops. Um, this green looks good. It looks pretty professional. The black and the green together almost looks like a professionally designed WordPress. Let's keep going. Um... Street life looks pretty basic, kind of looks like a Squarespace site. This is pretty nice. This is interesting. See, it's very news themed. Um, so portfolio and CV, I, I would do that. I know I said I was going to do portfolio and CV, but I want to I wanna navigate out a little bit. And I want to do restaurants and food because we're going to be showcasing products here. And even if you're doing uh, you know, a portfolio site, you're going to be showcasing your work. So let's do, let's look for something colorful, okay? You might not like colorful. You could just like something else. That's fine. Let's do something like... Hmm. Also, in the Q&A section, let me know what website you would like to create, and I can help you. Let's do this ice cream one, okay? Let's do the ice cream one. That looks colorful as it is. And that is simply how you pick a template. It's as simple as that, just navigating around, looking. And I didn't want to, you know, have it pre-planned. I wanted to look around and naturally find things that I thought looked nice. Look at that. All the strips are designed for you. You can go ahead, edit the paragraphs, add things. Everything is there. There's even this beautiful ice cream color collection. It is amazing. This is great. You can have your address right up here. That links with Google Maps. You can book an event, flavors of ice cream. This is excellent. So this is your template. If you want to scroll through it and click around, simply hit preview in the top right-hand corner, and you can go exploring. 
This is your site. This is a new site that you're creating. Isn't that fun? So go around, click around, and check that out because we're going to start creating this website. Let's get ready.